Hey everyone, it's Ben Hardy here, and in today's going to be reviewing a new Ford Raptor R with the graphics package and with the beauty rings. And the point of today's video is to decide if this is hideous or if it's hot. Before we get into this video, I want to give a huge shout out and thank you to the Larry Schmiller Ford here in Pro for giving me some time with this truck. I'll include a link to their website in the description down below. If you have any questions, just ask for Johnny. And then on a side note, if you want to save time and money the next time you purchase a car, link to my car buying guide in the description down below. Let's get into it. So powering the Raptor R is a supercharged 5.2 liter V8 that goes through a 10 speed automatic transmission. Fuel economy with this is 10 around town and then 15 on the highway with power outputs being 720 horsepower and then 640 pound feet of torque. Take that Ram TRX. Now, before we move forward with this review, I do want to mention if you want to see more videos just like this, then I recommend you subscribe because I post content every single day. So starting on the hood, this is where you guys can see this truck is finished in Avalanche. The first Raptor R that I reviewed for 24 was also finished in Avalanche, but it already had satin paint protection film. This is the original factory finish in gloss. And then you can see the hood graphics that you can get with the truck. And then we've got the big power dome there in the center. You can see the R logo off to the side. And then we've got the new headlight design here with the R. You can see how it kind of cuts down. And then look at all the marker lights here with the R as well. Got the R logo. And then we've got the two sets of fog lights. So that's the normal street fog light. This has the cover over it with the Raptor logo on it. That is technically not street legal. It's a little bit too bright only for off-road use. Uh, but if you take the cap off, you can use it. Anyways, you've got the recovery points here at the bottom. And notice how it's all painted black here with the bumper but then as soon as you dip down and look at the skid you can see that's silver in coloration uh, and then this is the new modular bumper that's also in the 37 package but yeah the front end i think it looks sharp because you got the tow hooks the r logo and then you got that little graphics there our uh, graphics thing on the hood so it, i think it comes together now around the side here we've got 37s wrapped around 17 inch wheels in the front and over in the rear and yeah this is the next big part the beauty rings so you can see they're also painted in code orange which i think actually looks pretty good in isolation uh, we'll show it with the rest of the truck in just a moment but i did turn it so you can see the tread pattern here on these tires again huge huge tires now the fun thing about the 37 is the tires are so big it kind of blocks the view of the shocks a little bit Got the giant fender flare here, and that is painted to match the bumper. And then you've got more graphics on the side here. I think that looks pretty cool below the vent. And then we've got the Raptor style side steps here. And then popping into the rear again, we've got the ring back there. But we've got the R logo. I think this is quite a bit cleaner than the previous Raptor R graphics package, because you just have Raptor and then you got R and you don't have like, I mean, it was cool to see like all the eights and then the V there in the middle. I thought that was fun. Um, so this is, I guess, less Easter eggy, but it still looks good. And then we just got to mention with the R, just like the 37 package, you do get the dual valve, live valve shocks. And then here's your full side view with the R so you can see all of the graphics, the beauty rings. And so let me know what you guys think about it once you kind of see it all together. Now, if you guys haven't seen my first R review, here's the key fob Raptor logo. You've got the lock and unlock, remote start, tailgate dropped, and all of that. And I guess this is where we'll drop down the tailgate. Ooh, automatic. That's fun. So taking a look at the bed, you can see we've got bed liner from the factory. It looks like I'll double check, see if there's no logos from any aftermarket companies. Actually, this is aftermarket. You can see here down in Springville. So not from the factory. Take that back but it has bed liner nonetheless. You can see we've got an outlet here, LED lights. And I'd say, I think I like this more than the factory finish. Seems like it's a bit higher quality than what Ford does. Anyways, you do have the tailgate step. And then the coolest part is underneath here. Just press that. And then the tailgate will raise right back up. Got the new style of taillights. I think these look really good on the Raptor. And you can see you've got the R logo and then down below with the modular bumper you got the recovery points big old exhaust tips and I guess this is the part where we'll do a little remote start clip did I do it wrong let's try it okay unlock it lock it 
Twice. There we go. Listen to that. It's a cool sound. So popping inside, the Raptor R gets nicer materials than what you get in a regular Raptor. So it's like soft touch trim here and then down below, but just the material use feels higher quality than what you get in the standard Raptor. And then this is really cool with the carbon fiber print. Speaker for the Bang & Olsen sound system. And again, you got the Raptor style side steps. Uh, this is the Super Cruise. So you've got tons of leg room in the back. You do have some under seat storage as well. And then with the Raptor R, got the Alcantara seats. Notice there's orange inside the seat itself. And then you got the Raptor logo right there. But yeah, really practical passenger cabin and see you. Now take a look at the front door panel. Really nice materials just like the back. All of our window controls, just the front two are automatic. Mirror adjustments, the mirrors do power fold in. You got the same carbon fiber trim you saw on the back. Blind spot running with the mirrors, memory seats. And then the R actually has pretty good payload, 1,326 pounds of payload. And then look at the headrest there. And then again, the R logo, perforated all down the center portion. All of your adjustments on the side. I wish they would do cooler pedals with the R, being the crazy loaded up Raptor. And then we do have our pedal adjustment here. You can see with the light controls, and then you've got that for the mirrors. Tailgate drop down, I like the little flag. Steering wheel's power adjustable. And then that same nice trim is on the dash all across. So yeah, again, nicer materials than a regular Raptor. So let's take a look at the steering wheel here in the R. Um, you guys can see at the bottom, you've got the R logo right there. Really cool stitching with this as well. Code orange, just like the rest of the truck. And there's actually a little bit of carbon fiber there. Practical controls, uh, you've got your R mode, that's your custom drive mode, adaptive cruise control. You've got adjustments here for the steering, suspension, exhaust, big old paddle shifters there on the back as well. Got the marker, which is black. Now I'm wondering if Ford did that because everyone else has copied Ford with the marker. But regardless, really cool looking steering wheel. Then we pop over into the gauge cluster here. You can see full digital gauge cluster. And if I press the R mode, it'll pop it into the R mode automatically, which is always fun. And then we also have our drive modes. They actually have the uh, modular bumper there with the Raptor graphics. That's pretty cool. But yeah, a bunch of off-road and on-road modes here with the R. Now being a fully loaded F-150, we do have a 360 camera system and it's easy enough to use. You do have this button here at the top that you can press and that'll pull up the camera system as well. Um, also at the top, we have our off-road cruise control, which is always a nice feature. But yeah, as for the infotainment system, uh, easy enough to use, quick response time overall. So I think that's pretty solid. And then we do have a pro trailer assist. Then you can see the trailer brake controls down below. And then we have this for our driveline select. So the Raptor R does come with an advanced four wheel drive system and it has a rear locking differential. It's cool the Raptor has two wheel drive because you can do burnouts and stuff with this. Um, anyways, analog controls for the climate, radio, heated to cooled seats, heated steering wheel as well. And then I like this little touch, the carbon fiber. I think that looks really sharp. Wireless phone charging pad. And then you have the fold down shifter here in the R, nice stitching. You can see the cup holders. And then you've got Raptor here on the center console. And then this does fold out because it's the workbench center console. Now I don't know if I'm gonna be able to pick this up on camera, but it actually says V8 here on the side. I don't think it's gonna, the lighting's really bad right now. So I don't think it's gonna show. Let me see if I can get it to, hopefully you guys can kind of see that now. It's kind of a cool Easter egg. Uh, like I said, really nice trim on the dash. Carbon fiber in the exterior of the glove box too, which is nice. Double glove box setup here. Uh, and then we do have a power sliding rear window. So got that whole setup. And then we've got six auxiliary switches here. And then the Raptor R does come with a panoramic sunroof. Now let's quickly take a look at the window sticker here. You can see 2024 Raptor R, $31,000 package for the R. But anyways, 
Panoramic sunroof, but the big thing is those beauty rings. 1925 is the option. So that brings the total MSRP to 114,970. So let me know what you guys think about the beauty rings when it comes to the looks. Um, my personal take, I like the rings. I like the graphics a lot, but I wish they did something at the center of the truck because it's like you have a lot happening in the front with the rings and the graphics, and then a lot happening in the back, rings and graphics. And then in the center, it's just empty. I don't know. Maybe it's good that it's empty. Let me know your thoughts on that. Let me know what you guys think about the new Raptor R.